Oh, if, if I jump high enough, can you make it look like I come down from the top of the screen? No. Okay, I think you can. I think you can, okay, right, okay. Whoa, how'd I get up there? <laughs> Anyways, time for tech news. <laughs> The sky is falling. Ah! AMD has launched the Ryzen 4000G series of APUs. In case you obviously knew what APUs were already, but you've forgotten, they combine a CPU and integrated graphics. But in case you were thinking you'd slap one of these new models into your existing rig, sorry. They'll only be available in pre-built PCs from OEMs. And also in case you thought these were like full-on desktop Ryzen 4000 chips, sorry again, but they're based on Zen 2. So they're more like spruced up versions of the 4000 series Ryzen mobile chips that you may find in recent laptop models. The good news is those laptop CPUs are sick and early reviews are praising these new G-series APUs as well. Desktop Ryzen 4000 processors based on Zen 3 are slated to launch later this year, according to AMD Executive Vice President of Computing and Graphics, Rick Bergman. And when Rick puts his name to something, you can take that all the way to the bank. Write a business card. Don't know if they'll accept it though. I think defacing bills is a federal crime. OnePlus has finally taken the wraps off the Nord, a $450 flagship killer. That's because it's got some higher end specs like a 90 hertz screen, in-display fingerprint reader, and a quad sensor camera array. The only problem is it's not available in North America because Carl Pei is selfish. I shouldn't say that, we actually have one. Linus' short circuit unboxing is going up soon. I'm, I'm sorry, Carl, I, please. But the only way other people can get one in the US and Canada is by applying to be a Nord beta tester. Oh, nerd. <laughs> nerd! 50 people will be able to test the phone and then a handful of those people will get to keep it. Okay, now I'm back to being confused, Carl. I mean, at least OnePlus is back to being a flagship killer instead of just the flagship maker that they were becoming. Well, you know what they say, the king is dead, now you're the king if you, if you kill him. It's like Highlander. There could only be one! Or the Santa Claus. Oh, true. And more phone news. Samsung unveiled an upgraded version of the foldable Galaxy Z Flip today called the Z Flip 5G. The overall design of the phone is the same, but this one can use the low band and mid band 5G frequencies. It unfortunately does not support the faster millimeter wave 5G. In addition to 5G though, the new model also comes with a Snapdragon 865 Plus instead of that boring old 865. So you'll have to decide for yourself whether that's worth an extra hundred bucks. My guess is if you're buying a $1,400 phone, it's, that's fine, you'll, you'll do it. This week, we also got a blurry leak of the successor to Samsung's original folding phone, the Galaxy Fold, showing much thinner bezels and possibly a full-size front-facing display. We'll probably get a full look at it in September if the screen doesn't peel off by then. Time for a message from O'Reilly from an alternate dimension. No, the bar? Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by the new Commuter 2 portable Bluetooth speaker from Cove. Thanks, Colton. Wow, this baby can get pretty loud. The Commuter 2 features up to seven hours of battery life, is water resistant, has a built-in microphone, and 30 feet of wireless range. But what really makes this thing different is this, Ultra Split, activate! Ah! These can do stereo sound separated, that's cool. What's even cooler is you can get 60% off the Commuter 2 if you use code TL64 at the link below. So click it. <laughs> They're the darndest things, these, uh, these quick bits. Are you a gamer and also very rich? Great news! Herman Miller partnered with Logitech to make a fancy gaming chair just for you, so you don't have to use the same chairs as the rest of us dirty plebs. It's $14.95, which is close to the Z Flip 5G in price, so if you're really fancy, you can buy one of these just to hold your phone while you get paid headshot lessons from a 14-year-old Chinese Counter-Strike Pro. He'll probably say, whoa, you're doing much better this week because of the chair. Microsoft's plans to bring Game Pass to other consoles like the Nintendo Switch has been shelved due to the company's inability to ensure a proper Xbox experience on other platforms. At the same time, Microsoft is partnering with Samsung to make Samsung phones sort of unofficial Xbox phones. The Galaxy Note 20 will apparently launch with a lot of marketing for Project X Cloud, with the Note 20 reportedly described as a mobile game console with 100 games, which is actually technically true, but it's also technically true that James and I are both fathers and that's kind of weird. The successor to the Oculus Quest is reportedly in production this very month. A leaked render of the standalone VR headset shows what looks like a Quest, but in white with a slightly different head strap. 
Oh, I'm excited. Although the actual changes probably don't matter much. If it's anything like the first quest at all, it'll probably sell like hotcakes, which are apparently something that sells very, aren't they just pancakes? Whatever you do, don't let someone else plug their phone into your charger because Chinese researchers have found an exploit called bad power that can alter the firmware of fast chargers so that they overheat devices and ultimately make them burst into flame. I mean, if it's your, if it's your close friend or something and they need to plug in, they might be all right. But on the other hand, it's 2020. And I'm only including this because I personally like it. A bunch of YouTube channels have uploaded gameplay and first impressions of Star Wars Squadrons, and it looks awesome. And this is why LMG needs a gaming channel, yeah! so that I have an excuse to play this at work. And David too. Guys, tweet at Linus or something. This is ridiculous. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Now come back on Friday for more tech news. Now, can you, can you make me like shatter into a million pieces? So like- Three, two, two one. Ah! That's more like it. Smoke grenade. <laughs>